Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So we are covering 12 categories, maybe it's 11. <laughs> of Star Wars storytelling or things that affect Star Wars storytelling in these monthly previews. We will look at movies, live action, animation, books, audiobooks, short stories, comics, video games, virtual reality, streaming services, merchandise, and live events. Merchandise is the one that we keep saying we're going to get rid of, but yeah, it just it keeps finding its way into the list, basically. And I don't think we have any merchandise updates to really talk about, so let's just get that right out of the way. We'll move on to what we usually start this out with, which is the movie situation. So last month, of course, there was that blockbuster announcement about The Mandalorian and Grogu, which would be the next film coming out from Lucasfilm in the realm of Star Wars in the galaxy far, far away. That movie, they say, is supposed to start shooting by the end of the year. They are currently, as far as we know, on pace to do that. They have to have a script done. If we're looking at The Force Awakens as a comparable timetable, then the script should be done by the end of the summer before they're able to be able to begin shooting by the end of the year. So yes, there's still a lot of time for that to happen. And there will be a lot of pre-production stuff happening on the side. There's a lot of concept art that'll be developed. There will be stuff for the production design team and the costume design team and the creature effects team to be mulling over. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's happening behind the scenes that we just don't know about yet. But yeah, the wheels are turning, that's for sure. In the meantime, Daisy Ridley has been doing a lot of press recently, and of course, she's being asked about Star Wars, as <laughs> it always happens, you know, you know how this goes. So, it's perfectly fine, everything's great. I think the big mystery that keeps seeming to pop up is the question of whether Stephen Knight actually finished a script, and whether Daisy Ridley has actually seen a script. So, it seems like the answer may be no. We thought that he was this close to having a script completed prior to the writer's strike last year. Now, maybe that isn't the case. Maybe she has seen, Daisy Ridley has seen a detailed treatment of what the movie is supposed to be about, and maybe for a whole trilogy of movies potentially but yeah there's no movement on it as far as we know and it's definitely not going to be the May 26 movie possible that it could be the December 26 movie but yeah yeah it's definitely a little bit more in flux than we had initially thought it was and then eventually coming down the pike is the Dave Filoni Mandoverse movie, which is different from The Mandalorian and Grogu. And then, of course, the Dawn of the Jedi movie from James Mangold. So those are still probably in development and probably in active development, but not coming until 27 at the earliest. On the live action front, we have the Acolyte still queued up. Don't know what's going on with that. And probably we're not going to find out anything about that in the next month. I don't think that's because everything is going to be focused on the Bad Batch, which we'll talk about in a moment. Then there's Skeleton Crew and there's still <laughs> no word about that one either, which is very puzzling too. So yeah, right now we have revised our situation in terms of 2024 releases to be Bad Batch, then Acolyte, then Tales of the the Jedi season two and then skeleton crew at this point. That's what it seems like it's going to be. Then as far as Andor season two goes, they should be wrapping up filming pretty soon. They were delayed about six months by the writer's strike. So just based on how Andor season one went and how things had been going for season two, it seems like either February or March is going to be the month where they finish principal photography and then they go into post-production. That would mean that the earliest we would see Andor is in 2025. So yeah, got a bit of a wait for that. We also got word last month that season two of Ahsoka was in active development. The earliest that we would see that would also be in 2025. So they're in early pre-production right now. Then it just leaves the open question of what about season four of The Mandalorian? Is it actually going to happen? Is it being co-opted to use in The Mandalorian and Grogu movie? There's still no answer about that. I'm still going to stand by the possibility that we could see a season four happen that, you know, scripts have already been developed, so it could go into production in 2024 and we might see it in 25 also. It's still definitely a possibility to be considered. I don't think we can dismiss it. Moving on to animation, on February 14th, Valentine's Day, we're getting a love letter from Lucasfilm in the form of new episodes of Young Jedi Adventures being dropped to Disney Plus, and that will also show up on the Disney Junior 
TV channel. And then the big event of February is The Bad Batch Season 3. On the 21st, we're getting a three-episode season premiere. And then in the 28th, we're going to get Episode 4 of the series. So we are going to be rolling in Bad Batch stuff later this month. On the books front, it's going to be comparatively light in February, which you know generally isn't a surprise with a short month at all. But we're getting three books in the Essential Legends collection this month, uh, Knight Errant and Order 66 Republic Commando and Wraith Squadron. Wraith Squadron is notable because it is the fifth book in the X-Wing series, and this is the first one that was written by Aaron Alston. So, yeah, it's very cool to see that they are going to continue publishing the X-Wing series in the Essential Legends collections that they didn't just stop with the first four by Michael Stackpole. Although I dare say I'm paying a little less attention to that myself since Rogue Squadron the movie by Patty Jenkins is apparently no longer in majorly active development. So, yeah, that's unfortunate to say the least. But, yeah, the Adventures of Rogue Squadron will live on and they will live on in a new way as well moving on to our audiobooks category the fine folks at penguin random house audio have seen fit to release an unabridged audio version of wraith squadron previously it was only an abridged version and mark thompson is narrating this one as well he narrated the previous four newly unabridged versions of rogue squadron novel so yeah that's definitely a treat Oh, but let me circle back to the book thing real quick. On the nonfiction side of the house, we have The Art of Jedi Survivor coming out this month and a thing called The Mandalorian Collection from Titan Publishing, which examines Mandalorians throughout the galaxy and throughout Star Wars storytelling, starting from the you know, very first appearance of Boba Fett in the Star Wars Holiday Special, that infamous appearance, if you will, going through all sorts of Legends material and all the way up to present day with The Mandalorian and the Book of Boba Fett and the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, which I was racking my brain trying to think of a Mandalorian in the Obi-Wan series, and it's probably there, and I just need to smack myself in the head to remember it. But yeah, anyway, those two reference books, nonfiction books, are coming out in February as well. On the short story front, we are getting Star Wars Insider Magazine issue 224 this month, and it is going to have the next installment in the serialized Tales from the Occlusion Zone, which is from Phase 3 of High Republic storytelling. On the comics front, and this is how you know that it's a short month, because the number of comics coming up this month is really limited, comparatively speaking. So Darth Vader 43 and Star Wars 43, High Republic Adventures issue 3, and then a couple of limited series things coming out. The first issue of the Mace Windu limited series, the fifth issue of the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series adaptation, and the second issue of the adaptation of the novel Thrawn Alliances. Plus, plus one of the very coolest things coming out is a one-shot in the the Star Wars Visions line. So this one is by Takashi Okazaki, and if the name rings a bell, that's awesome, and if it doesn't, that's okay. That's who created the Ronin in that ish, uh, episode of Star Wars Visions that came out in the first season of it, and was so compelling that they then got Emma Miko Kandon to write the Star Wars Ronin novel about that character. So yes, now they're continuing the Ronin story in comics, but actually going back to the very origins of the character. So yeah, definitely something to look out for. On the streaming front, so content that would be original to Disney Plus, don't have anything on the docket right now and wouldn't necessarily expect to considering that we're getting Young Jedi Adventures added to Disney Plus and with the release of The Bad Batch later this month too, yeah, not really expecting anything new in that regard, just still holding out hope for a Disney Gallery series for Andor. On the virtual reality front, ILM Immersive, hey, if you're watching this, I feel like we're due. I feel like we are overdue for an announcement of some kind. It's been quite a while since the situation with Tales from the Galaxy's Edge last call being released and then the Enhanced Edition being released in February of last year for PlayStation VR. So yeah, we're, we're overdue and we're waiting and we're excited for it. So come on, bring it on, bring it on. On the video game front, we have apparently two different video games that are going to debut at some point this year, Star Wars Outlaws and Star Wars Hunters may actually finally be a thing. So they are in their final stages of development. Outlaws is, I should say, and Hunters, who the heck knows? Oh man, it's just taking too darn long. Or it takes as long as it takes and whatever. Yeah, so Outlaws and Hunters are the things that we're still looking forward to this year and hopefully sooner rather than later. And we already covered merchandise, 
So the only thing that's left to talk about is live events. Only one thing that we know about at this point, which is on February 7th, that is the date of the Disney earnings call for the quarter. So we'll check that out. We'll see what Bob Iger has to say, if he's going to name check any Star Wars stuff or give us any new Star Wars related information. Hope so. And that right there is going to do it for our February 2024 preview. Everything that we know about that's coming to Star Wars storytelling in the month or affecting Star Wars storytelling in the month. And that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. If you enjoy the show, please do share it with other Star Wars fans that you know in real life or on social media. It really helps make the podcast more self-sustaining and it helps the algorithms help more people find it too, for that matter. I hope you'll also consider leaving a rating or review that also helps it and just takes a moment to do it and i hope you'll also consider hitting the follow button the subscribe button the join button whatever button there is to make sure that you get this daily dose of star wars joy delivered straight to you then yeah that would be a wonderful thing too so thank you very much for joining me for this episode of the show as always and may the force be with you wherever in the world you may be by seven is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited by their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyrighted by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.